What's up? My name is Buster Odeholm. Today we're checking out Heat from JST. This is a distortion plugin with multiple bands. And today I'm going to show you how I would use that on a drum bus. So here's how my drum mix is sounding without Heat on. So already I hear a bunch of things we can improve. Uh, we need this drum mix to glue a lot more than it's doing right now. And I think some distortion can help us get there. So let's, let's try this out and see what it does on the different bands here. I'm going to solo the low band here. I also should mention that this is the just a drum bus uh, preset that is in the plugin. So I'm going to use that as like my starting point. And then I'm going to see what the distortion does to the different bands. That sounds cool. Let's jump to the mid band here. What we need to be careful about here is the low end fundamental of the snare uh, can usually overpower distortion uh, pretty easily. So let's make sure we get the mid, mid range to be in a nice clean spot. Cool. Let's check out the high end. And now since we distorted the mids way more than the other frequencies, we can bring this down in volume here to maintain the, the frequency balance that we had. So I'm going to listen to this without and with. So this is without. This is with. Already you can hear the drums have way more like body and way more aggression to them uh, just from this little amount of distortion. We can also change the tone here from dark to bright. So let's check that out. I think our balance is pretty good. I might go towards the darker setting a little bit. Yeah, let's go with that. We also have filters here. Uh, the distortion usually can introduce new frequencies that might not be what you want in your mix. Usually, for me at least, it's like the stuff over 10,000 hertz or something like that. Uh, so this is a great feature where you can just, you can just uh, filter that away pretty easily. I think this is pretty, a pretty good spot. I, I'm usually ending up here with my uh, low pass filters. Uh, I'm not sure I want to use this low cut, but let's just see what it sounds like. So this feature here is pretty cool. It creates like a low end bump on your filter, which means that you can get rid of the super low, low stuff on like a kick drum or something. And then you can boost the fundamental or you can create like a false fundamental if you want to. If you want your kick to be a lot deeper, you can put the filter around like 40 Hertz or something and have this bump, thump, <laughs> have this thump setting going and it'll it'll focus all the low end to a lower frequency. Right now, our, our distortion is going with a bit haywire here. So I'm going to dial that back. Uh, 
I think my kick is too aggressive as it is. So I'll just not use this for, for this specific purpose. But if I'm mixing like a kick on the kick channel, this might be a great feature for that. Sure. So let's bring back our saturation here that we removed. So once you dial in your gain on the individual bands here, you can adjust the overall gain on all of them at the same time with this heat knob here. So it sounds like this. You can really hear how that brings out all of the room and sustain from the cymbals. And that's something you can dial in with the other instruments to make sure that you have the amount you want. I'm going to leave it at 25% now. So let's see what it sounded like before and what it sounds like with. Here's with. Really cool. You can really hear how the drums come to life. So to combat all of the level heat is adding to our mix here, we can pull back on the output knob here and level match so that we can actually hear the difference uh, that the plugin adds rather than the volume. So let's see if we can match the volume. There we go. So I brought it down about four dBs here to match the volume we had before introducing the saturation here. So let's do an AB. This is before. This is with. Cool. I want to try something else here. Uh, there's a mix knob, which for me means that I can do some very extreme settings on heat here and blend it in uh, with the mix knob, which can also be pretty cool if you want to maintain more of the mix you did before adding heat. So let's try that out. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a very extreme setting here. Um, and blend that in. So let's try it. So here's the setting. Um, the mix is on 40% and the heat knob is on 80%, which is a lot. So I'm blending this extremely saturated signal in with the, the dry signal. And it sounds like this. So without... and with. Cool. Let's bring this mix up to 100% again. And now we're gonna check out the different modes here. So there's different distortion characteristics in this plugin. Uh, right now we're using transformer saturation. So let's see, I'm gonna crank the heat here so we can actually really hear uh, what the distortion is doing. I'm just gonna flip through the different modes.
So let's try this compression distortion thing. I thought that sounded pretty cool and that might work good. Uh, that might work great on a drum bus. Uh, so let's try this compression distortion setting here. Uh, it sounded great. Uh, it probably works really good on a drum bus. So let's see what that, that does. I'm gonna bring this back to 50% and go through the bands again. Seems to be a cool setting. This adds some nice glue and some nice transients uh, that I really dig. So before, after, cool. I really dig this plugin. It's a versatile distortion plugin that you can use on multiple sources. So try it out.